this is Michael Thompson. I am painter from TVPainter.com, video series Paint and Make It Happen. I'm going to show you some techniques about doing some trees today. So I'll show you some things that work for me. Let's go ahead and start on that. Now I've got some colors laid out on the palette here that you can't see. The oil colors, I use Lucas Oil Paints. And they are Van Dyke Brown, uh, ivory black, Prussian blue, primary yellow, which is a bright yellow. You could use lemon yellow or cadmium yellow, either one of those. Uh, vermilion red, which is a bright red, and I have titanium white. And I'll show you, I'll hold the, the brush up and let you see. Now I do have a white medium on here. It's a base coat white medium, it's real thin. And uh, I'll have more on that later. But this right here, this lubricates, it's a very thin white. You can thin your white down with linseed oil to get started. Just make it real creamy and uh, put it on the canvas that way. So that's kind of a tip on that. Now, I'm going to show you how to do some uh, evergreen trees to start with. One of the most fun, simple ways to do them. Uh, this right here is a number six fan brush. It does have some of that white. I'm just going to leave it in the brush. It, doesn't, it won't hurt anything. I'm going to grab some, uh, let's just do a little quick background. I'm going to do uh, some red and yellow, kind of make a, a sunset, but let's just uh, throw some color in right here and uh, so we can give a little bit of a sky background to the trees, make them look pretty nice. Just throw it in, just using that old fan brush. Just kind of square it off like that right there. And do it like that. Just that simple. That one little line right in there is going to make a big difference when we paint the trees, make them look pretty cool. Alright. Now that we've got sort of a background right here, and I'm just blending it out. Let's go ahead and uh, load this brush up with some uh, Van Dyke Brown, a little bit of that blue, the Prussian blue, and some of the Van, uh, Ivory Black. This is a good dark color, but now let's say you want to do distant trees. Uh, in the background, so I'm going to add a little white to that. Just kind of lighten it up a little bit. Now, notice how the brush is loaded. Kind of see it has a, a fine point to it right there. But uh, it's going to help us do a, uh, a straight up and down brush stroke to create uh, background treats. Okay, look, say if I do that right there. Then I've got these little points on top of the tree right here are, uh, should I use that to point with? These right here are the tips of the tree. So there's different ways you can do this. And uh, I'm gonna show you a couple of those. But if you make them small now, like this, let them get smaller. Let these brush strokes get smaller and smaller. See how that goes? It looks like it's going far away. And the paint's coming out of the brush, so it's getting uh, uh, lighter, too. So things lighter are in the background and darker in the foreground. So let's go right over here and just uh, tap in like this. See how I'm tapping this way? You can kind of, it fuzzes the edges out, and it makes them look pretty cool that way, too. So these different ways you can make these trees. So let's make that just go right back in there like so. And uh, I'm going to use a, uh, <clears throat> let's see, I'll use a one inch brush to just kind of soften the base of these up right here. See how I soften the base of that up? This is part of making the tree too, is you want the, the 
you want this part of it to be soft right in here a lot of times it, that mist that it creates will take care of what's going on at the bottom of the tree and it uh, doesn't make the mind wonder uh, what's going on so that kind of takes care of that but let me uh, use the uh, one inch brush now and uh, I can create those trees with this one inch brush the same as I can with the fan brush so all I gotta do is load it up and put it to a chiseled edge and it'll do the same thing which we'll go over later okay using that num number six fan brush again or you can use a number three whichever one you prefer they both work the same one's just bigger than the other and it's easier to do the smaller things with a smaller brush all right now that we've got this right here the probably the most fun tree to make is uh like this right here you just take and uh, put a little center point now you can just draw that in like that right there if you want to just draw a straight line down but uh just take the corner and touch stay in the center to start with because you don't want to start way out here but just to start applying more pressure as you go along just like I'm doing right here but see when I'm pushing down it's causing them to bend downward so it looks like natural branches bending downward I'm just going back and forth and I'm applying a little bit more pressure as I go just like so now let's put a let's do that again put another one in there we reload it's always important to reload your brush so you can put one right beside it see that and you've got two always looks good to have odd numbers so let's put one more in there let's put it right here maybe it's kind of uh, leaning outward away from the other now I'm using the notice that this is a little darker and it pushes those in the background so we have that and then we'll just tap in some land underneath this right here it's just that simple to do that and that's how you'd make those evergreen trees like that um, you can make these uh a little darker if you want to put a row in front of them watch this let's just use that color and we can put a row of trees right in front of that one and uh, kind of make the, the points a little distinct like that right there and you've got a row of trees right in front of that one. Now another tree, the same kind of evergreen tree that you can make, you can do just a little bit different. Use a, let's just pull a tree trunk down. It don't have to be straight. Give it a little bit of a wiggle to, in there to give it a little character so they don't always grow straight. But when you touch the tip of it, push upward with the bristles so that the br bristles bend upward and it causes them to go up like that see that and you got a, a different kind of tree right there so see how that one looks a little more bushier and it uh, gives a nice effect that way so let's try one more we'll try right here on the edge let me reload push upward just like I'm doing. And we'll done with it just like that. I'm going to add some more trees to this series later. This is just to get you started, giving you some ideas. So that's uh, three different types of trees. A lot of these right here are in the background. So the ones that go straight up and down with no detail, these are usually placed in the foreground. The ones with the detail so but you can put them uh, this shade put these in the background so you can do them different ways it's uh, 
just whichever way you plan on doing it. So that's one way of looking at it. Let's push up some grass right there. And you can put highlights on top of them. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to grab some of the yellow with this dark, and I believe it, it'll turn a little bit green because it's already got that in it. All right. And you just touch. Uh, well, you can't see that. That's not going to work. Let's just lighten it up a little bit. You may have to get some green out this one. Not wanting to blend. But you can put a few highlights on them. And just put the highlights on the same way that you built the tree. Like this one would go upward. These highlights would. Just, you don't want them real bright. So just place them on there. Like so. And that kind of gives you an idea of what uh, you can do your grass the same way. Just push up. like that. That gives you some ideas with the fan brush, how to use that fan brush.